I've been making a sustained push for the last two years, really, but especially the last six months to move out of shorter term futures trading and into more intermediate term, slightly longer term, longer term being weeks to months for my time frame, stock trading and um, repurposing a lot of what I do. And I work with a good friend who's a partner on this. And I got sucked into day trading a lot last week and ended up acting out my impulses in there and not coming in like a professional and doing it like I used to, but instead just kind of throwing shit around and, and basically just throwing a temper tantrum in there and, and not trading responsibly. And I had a pretty bad week. And it really was a wake-up call to just step out of that world and into the next one where I need to be. It's like almost something inside of me needed to punish me in order to get me on the right path. Um, and the reason I'm transitioning is just part of my personal growth curve to move in this direction where I can scale myself bigger and I can get into new challenges. And it really pissed me off this week to have a setback like that because it's been happening a lot. And what it does is it drains my energy and my creativity for the rest of the day. So then I can't do other things because anyone who trades knows that when you have a bad day, you're completely fried mentally and you can't really do anything else. You don't even want to do the dishes or take out the garbage or do really do anything when you have a bad day. It's, it's very exhausting. The, the mental uh, energy that you put into that and the thinking and then the emotional disruption is super tiring. So it's a, uh, I don't need to tell that to anybody who does it, but for people who don't do it, it's hard to understand until you do. But so here's the big observation and the big lesson though that I that I wanted to talk about today. And I've noticed that when my ideas are very independent and they're coming from me and my observations of the world, I tend to do really well with them. And there's a lot of reasons for that. It's because it's not popular and I've watch the market for a lot of years. So sometimes the ideas can be better that way. But the other reason is that you have conviction to act on them and to, and to trade them intelligently because you believe in what you're doing, not something you heard on TV or read in an article. So I subscribe to a ton of publications that some of them I pay good money for. And what I've kind of, the way I've, I think this up is when the smart crowd is caught the wrong way, those are the biggest screw jobs in the market. So the smart crowd could be intelligent people who have money, from other fields who are not idiots reading Yahoo Finance, but people who are pretty damn smart and think that they have something figured out. And when those people get caught in a story or in a hype, that's when the biggest moves happen the wrong way, the opposite way against those people. And when you're reading a lot of publications and a lot of things, especially things you're paying for, you tend to get caught up in that. And a great example would be gold. So a lot of smart people have been saying for the last six months that gold is really undervalued and it's going to be a great long-term hold. And it's done nothing but go down. So from a trading perspective, you know that if you're short gold, there isn't a lot of risk to get a squeeze up because there's not a lot of other people who are in that position. Um, the, the commitment of traders report says there's a lot of shorts in the market, but from a sentiment side of things, it just seems like everyone that I'm reading about wants to buy it and it's going down and the chart looks terrible. I'm not saying they're going to be wrong in two years, but I got sucked into doing some buys in there that were based on that stuff. And it, it was another reminder and I've had this many times in my career that if someone else has an independent idea that fits into my framework or into something that I'm already good at, it can be really useful for me to take that idea as my own and, and mold it and, and use it. So it's not like you don't listen to other people ever. It's not that you know everything. That's not the point. It's that when you start getting sucked into something that's not your own, you're in big trouble and it doesn't, it tends to not work out well. You don't know where you're wrong. You don't know why you're in it. And you end up having a bad day and you just close out all those positions for losers and you wonder why you did this again to yourself. It's the same thing when you're during the day, if you're trading and you're taking uh, advice from somebody else. And I had to learn that lesson again. I've had a frustrating few weeks doing some dumb shit that I shouldn't be doing that I know better. And I was going to jump on here and do a podcast, but I was just so angry one day. I figured it was probably not a good idea because I was just steaming that I fell for some of the same mistakes that I've done before. But you know, here I am 15 years or whatever into this, and this still happens to me more than I think it should. But there's no such thing as should. So it's happening to me as much as it takes to learn the lesson, I suppose. <laughs>